प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द सिक्स रूल्स we need to follow for beam design okay so basically beam is nothing but a horizontal member which is supported to your respected vertical structure member those mem vertical members are called column okay basically beams are used to transfer the loads from the respected uh, slab section to the column section so this is the main purpose of the beam section so basically beams are classified into three categories so it will be consisting of the uh, plinth beam sections and it will be consisting of the main beam sections again it will be consisting of the secondary beam sections okay depends upon the usage of the beam we need to consider that respected beams okay so in this video i will explain you what are the different types of the uh, rules we need to follow for beam designing section okay whether it is comes under your plinth beam sections or whether it is comes under your uh, secondary beam sections other uh, whether it is comes under your respected main beam section okay so basically these six are the basic rules we need to follow for beam designing concept okay so in that first one is the minimum dimensions of the beam is considered as 9 inches cross 9 inches okay so this is the first rule we need to follow okay if you design any kind of the building whether it is comes under your ground story building or uh, g place on building or G plus two building or any kind of the high rise structure. So we need to consider the minimum dimensions of the beam should be nine inches cross nine inches for the building structures. This is only for the building structures. So if you consider the compound wall structures, other uh, single structures, basically we have to reduce the uh, beam section dimensions. Okay. So this is the first point we need to keep in mind the minimum dimensions which is related to the. Let us consider here example here like this the minimum dimensions which is related to the depth and breadth of the beam. We need to consider as. 9 inches cross 9 inches in horizontal section as well as vertical section okay so this is the first point we need to keep in mind okay and second point we need to keep in mind for designing of any kind of the structure which is comes under your beam section so we need to consider the minimum area of the tensile reinforcement okay minimum area of the tensile reinforcement okay should not be less than okay this is the tensile reinforcement value where as is the tensile reinforcement should not be less than 0.85 times of effective depth and width divided by your respected sigma y okay so yield strength of the steel okay so this is the basic formula as per the is coder provision as per is 456 we need to consider minimum reinforcement value for the respected beam so which is not less than 0.85 times of b multiplied by d divided by sigma y okay let us consider just i'm taking one example diagram here like this where b is the width of the beam and we have to consider the depth is effective depth d here like this okay so this is the depth of the effective depth of the respected beam and this is the width of the beam so we need to consider this factors again we will consider the yield strength of the steel, steel section okay so if you consider 415 grade steel or 500 grade steel we need to consider that respected grade of all the respected section okay so this is the second one we need to keep in mind uh, which is not less than 0.85 times of b d divided by sigma y okay and the third factor is maximum tensile reinforcement so here we are assuming that the minimum tensile reinforcement should not be exceed so and so respected value but again we have to consider the maximum reinforcement values also okay so for the respected beam designing section we need to consider the maximum reinforcement value should not be greater than 0.04 times of b d okay so where d is the depth of the beam this is not the effective depth and this is the effective depth we need to consider the distance between the reinforcing bars and this is the depth of the beam so basically we have to consider the total value depth okay so d is the depth of the beam and b is the width of the beam and you have to multiply that respected value with 0.04 okay so this is the maximum value okay the maximum value whatever the value that we are calculated for the respected reinforcement of the beam should not be exceed this respected factor okay just i am taking example here okay so this is the uh, value we need to consider for beam designing section and the next one is side reinforcement uh, should be provided if the depth of the beam is exceeding your 750 mm dimensions okay so basically as i explained in previous video the depth of the beam will be depends upon the length of the beam okay so if you consider the depth of the beam is directly proportional to length of the beam okay so if you increase the length of the beam basically we have to consider the higher amount of the depth also okay so if you let us consider if you consider 10 meter or higher grade uh, higher length of the beam basically for to resist that much amount of the beam length we have to provide the uh, high amount of the depth okay so if you assume just i am taking example as 800 mm dimensions was obtained from the calculation part of 
beam section let us consider just i was observed that the depth of the beam is which is related to the 800 mm i was explained how to calculate the depth and width of the beam in my previous video you can watch that video i will provide you that respected video link in above cot link and below description of this respected video you can watch that video for simple understanding how to calculate the width and depth of the beam okay so if you uh, calculated i was calculated example let us consider i was calculated the depth of the beam which is approximately equal to 800 mm okay so this respected 800 mm dimensions is greater than this 750 mm is it okay so here i was observed that the dimensions of your respected depth of the beam is coming higher value uh, which is greater than 750 mm here okay so for this respected 800 mm section we have to provide the side reinforcement section okay so now i will explain you what is mean by side reinforcement section let us consider just i am taking some simple beam section here like this which is consisting of just i am taking 0.23 is the width of the beam again i am taking 0.8 meter is the depth of the beam okay so as per the fourth point it, it is suggested that the depth of the beam uh, should be greater than 750 mm we have to provide the uh, reinforcing side reinforcing bars so as per the consideration let us consider just i am taking some uh, three bars at the top reinforcement section for this respected uh, beam section again we have to consider the bottom section also let us assume as per my uh, consideration okay just i am taking three bars at the bottom reinforcement section okay so but this respected top reinforcement which is consisting of three bars and which is consisting of three bars at the bottom reinforcement it is not sufficient for this respected 0.8 meter depth okay for that reason only we have to consider the additional uh, reinforcement values side reinforcement values as per the considerations of the design okay so just i am taking some two bars at the right hand side section and left hand side section okay so these are the reinforcement values which is provided for this respected building so as per the example so this is the reinforcing stirrups we have to provide for the external section again in the same process we have to provide the internal section reinforcing bars here okay reinforcing section here stirrups like this okay so this is the explanation for this respected side reinforcement side reinforcement should be provided if the depth of the beam exceeds the 750 mm okay so this is the fourth point we need to keep in mind before designing of the building and the next one is minimum cover should be taken as 20 mm to or 25 mm okay i was forgot to write 25 mm also so basically 25 mm is also minimum one okay so if you are designing any kind of the beam section basically we have to consider the minimum cover also cover is also one of the most important step okay basically the cover value will be depends upon the size of the coarse aggregate if you using the less amount of the coarse aggregate size the cover should be less okay so as per the considerations of the standards we have to take the minimum cover should be 20 mm okay and 25 mm also we need to consider depends upon your respected usage okay so this respected cover will be helpful for filling the concrete material okay so this is the fifth point we need to keep in mind before designing of the beam okay so last one is number of uh, minimum bars okay so if you're designing any one of the building which is related to the only the ground story structure so basically the loading condition will be less okay so for the respected uh, loading structure in previous uh, olden days basically they are considered only the four bars okay so the minimum bars should be taken as per the is codal provision of is 456 we have to consider here as four number of the bars will be exist for this respected building section okay so these are the six basic rules we need to follow before designing of the building in which first one is beam dimension should be nine inches cross nine inches we need to follow and minimum area of the tensile reinforcement should be used as 0. 0.85 times of b d divided by sigma y where b is the uh, breadth of the beam and d is the effective depth and sigma y is the yield strength of the steel okay again we have to consider the third factor is maximum tensile reinforcement which is approximately equal to 0 0.04 times of b d okay where b is the uh, width of the uh, breadth of the beam and d is the depth of the beam complete depth okay again we have to consider the side reinforcement if you increase the depth of the beam should be greater than 700 uh, 750 mm sorry 750 mm we need to consider the side reinforcement section so as per my example just i am taking example as 800 mm so for this respected section i was taking the side reinforcement okay and minimum minimum cover should be provided for the respected beam section is approximately 20 mm to 25 mm okay this is the minimum okay so again last point will be considered a number of the bars so basically we have to consider the four number of the bars for the building design section okay so this is the complete process uh, basic six rules in beam designing section if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for the respected questions thank you